Well everyone, Primetime Aquatics, and we are down in the fish room. This is Joanna's nano wall, so I promised this for a long time. We promised that we were gonna be doing a nano wall, and here it is, it's the start, and what am I doing? Buckets. Uh, this is the start of the nano wall. These couple tanks that are here, these were the tanks that came from upstairs. We recently redid all of our floors and we decided it would be best not to have large quantities of water upstairs anymore, at least while the floors are new. Now you kind of got inspired. I think inspired is a good word, inspired to change this around. The five and a half gallon. Yeah. What exactly happened this, was it this morning? This morning this happened? Yeah, I, uh, well, I was feeding my fish. Fish food fish food and I had just dropped in some snails to my peep puffers so my hand was wet and I didn't want to reach in you know and grab the fish food out of here so I decided to be real careful and just dump a little you know well like half the container came out so there you go it's a sad story something all of us fish keepers really fear so <laughs> we're going to go ahead or you're gonna go ahead and redo this tank because uh, it's getting a little messy We've got a couple pea puffers in here. We've got a couple Daniels. We're gonna kind of take you along right now. I mean, the tank was looking pretty good. It had some plants and had some rocks. And we recently went from a hang on the back filter. Now that we're down here, we decided to use a sponge filter because we've got the central air system and it cut down on all the electricity that we're, that we're using. Why not just take advantage of the central air system already? So we put a sponge filter in here and now we just have to get the fish food out and we have to get the fish out and clean up the plants a little bit and replant everything and see what it looks like. And I have to catch my pea puffers. This is so weird, I've never done anything in the basement before. Yeah, it's like your new little fish area. Yeah. Why didn't you just use one of the bigger nets? I like to use a small net. Okay. I know. Why don't you use two small nets? Because you like I can do it just fine with one small net. Look at that. You are just catching pea puffers, though. I want to see how you do with the Daniels. I already got them. <laughs> oh, Sucker. The Daniels are in there? Yeah. See, look. Oh, wow. Okay. See? So we're back in business then. I guess we're almost done. Oh. <laughs> FYI, you have two of these buckets, and they're small buckets, and I'd like them to be my official nano, nano wall, wall buckets, huh? buckets. Okay, so I'm very, you know, when you share a room, when you're growing up and you share a room, you really like stuff that's yours. So just, you know, these two, you've got two matching buckets, they're now mine. Sure, as long as you think <laughs> that. You can think whatever you want. That's fine. When I'm done with them, I'll put them where only I know where they're at. So one of the ways that you can gravel back efficiently is just by gently, especially if you have sand, just gently touch the surface just like this. And that way we're not sucking up a lot of the sand. We can go through and get everything off the surface. Like all the fish food? Like all the fish food. Nothing like a lot of fish so food here. why don't I just get brand new gravel? because we have a relatively new filter in here. And with the re relatively new filter, most of your beneficial bacteria is now on the rocks, See, on the it, plants. I'm gonna put it in my, and my other bucket. Mine. There you go. You can put it everywhere. I know what I'm gonna do, and you guys won't use it. I'm gonna put glitter all over it. So sparkly. There's no glitter allowed down here. You want to make a bet? We are completely draining this? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Because it's gross. It is pretty gross. I'm going to rinse these off now. Have fun. See ya. All right, so it looked like I got stuck with the draining of the tank duty. It is drained. We left a little bit of water in there. We, again, we really want the substrate to stay wet because that's where our beneficial bacteria is, especially with this sponge filter only being a couple weeks old. We've took, taken out some of the plants, some of the rocks. So that stuff, you could lose some of the beneficial bacteria, especially if we rinse it off or it's gonna get a little bit drier than we would like. So our beneficial bacteria is here. Now it's time to go ahead and get stuff back the way we want it. Welcome to the new use for a Colgate toothbrush. This is brand new. 
And instead of using it on our teeth, <laughs> we're going to use this glorious thing to clean plants, rocks, and other things in a fish tank. Well, I'm sure nobody's ever thought of that before. I bet no one's ever thought of this before. And so here you go, a brand new use for a toothbrush that's never <gasps> been thought of before. And it's mint. It's mint green. This is also mine. There you go. Okay. It's yours. It's my favorite color. It's everybody's favorite color. No, it's not. I'm curious, does anybody else have big, giant, random buckets of gravel okay. all over their fish room? Because we do. Mm -hmm. And just about every color imaginable. Pea puffers don't sift through sand, do they? I've never seen them. No, they do okay. not sift through sand. Okay. So then so gravel's okay for them? I'm just curious, what's kind of the plan with this giant rack you've got going on here with all these tanks? What's the plan? What's the plan? Um, I don't know if I'm going to tell you the entire plan. Okay, do you have a because, theme? Do you have something that uh, you want to do? I want, well, let's see if there's a theme. Um, different biotopes, so I can have, uh, you know, different uh, feels in the tank, but okay. all, always small fish. Small fish, small tanks, yep. small inhabitants. Yeah. And how many tanks you got going up in this wall? What do we count? Like maybe ten? No, like twelve. Twelve? You have as many right? tanks as I do. <laughs> no. After you get about five times as the twelve. But I want very specific fish because I'm not putting up this whole wall and having like random fish. I want all my favorites. So all I can your come down here. And I can look at all of my favorite fish. What do you think, everybody? Nano Wall, and I know her favorite fish is the <laughs> Oscar. No. Uh, we can put the, the tilapia, Timmy, he can go in there. I don't think he'd be happy uh, in any of these. So your favorite fish are going to be on the smaller side then? Yes. Perhaps you could watch my stocking videos on I, small tanks. Well, yeah, you think? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm going to need? I'm going to need like little, ooh, some of those shelving things that we just took out of the laundry room. Either that. Do you guys ever have like fish, fish keeping like holsters, you know, like that have like all your... Fish keeping holsters? You heard it here first. So right. It would be pretty helpful. Fish keeping you holsters. You know what I mean? You know, like how like construction people have the tool belts? Yeah, a tool belt. Yeah, but holster? Fish belts. All right, we'll get the fish belt. Net belts? Oh, yeah, I didn't really like fish keeping until I started gardening like a few years ago. And then what, last year, the year before, you're like, you want to escape my tank? And I was like, no. And you're like, you can play with plants and stuff. Do you want to just take a look? I was like, oh. does that look familiar? <laughs> and I was like, well, I don't know, okay. And then you had that, wasn't it the Sahika tank? Wasn't that the first one I did? Yes. You had that sweet piece of driftwood, which you can't see now, or it's not driftwood, it's what? Oh, whatever, Mopani. Mopani? Yeah. Because it looked like a big pirate ship from like Pirates of the Caribbean. It's awesome. Now it's covered in jungle veil. But I anyway. Some of that. Huh? So anyway. Um, so, anyways, yeah. So that was super fun. And uh, then I was hooked. No, I've always liked tiny fish though. Tiny anything, tiny animals, anything. So you combine tiny tanks, tiny fish, and driftwood and hardscaping and stuff. It's like little indoor gardens. All right, so I think I'm gonna put my plants in. So what I like to do is place them first, especially when there isn't a whole lot of water in there and see how they stand you know because each plant's kind of this you know they have their own thing they're going or they're going to the right or they're you know whatever um since i've got four of these so these are anubias those are anubias huh they look different than my little nano petite but anyway since my all my other plants that came from here are still at the plant doctor i'll spray those um, I'm going to place these and I'm going to do the old super glue, which works really great um, as long as it's a gel. We're using Gorilla Glue 
and it does say to shake well, which you know what? I want to really stick. So unlike you, I'm going to read the directions and it says shake well. I read the directions and my stuff you never, stuck just fine. You never read the directions. That's true, I don't read the directions. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of funny stories with you not reading directions. Okay, so I didn't, I used like two little squirts. And then I'm going to stick it on the back of a rock so you can't really see it. But these have, what is this called? The uh, rhizome. Rhizome. So you don't want to bury the rhizome. Burying the rhizome is definitely a bad thing to do. Why? Because it'll rot and then the whole plant dies. See, look at that. It's really like sticking. It's amazing. And you can actually do it underwater. But you know what? I don't really have good luck with that. Everybody. So, I finished my tank and I'm really excited about it. Come check it out. Hey everybody. So check it out. This is my rescape of my five and a half gallon. The first tank that I have completed for my nano wall. And this is home to my two pea puffers, my absolute favorite fish. It also has three danios that we're not really quite sure how long they'll stay in here, but for right now, they're working out just fine. I left the sand in just because it was completely cycled and it did add in some gravel in the back to give it a little bit of height in the back. And just used the hardscaping that I had already, some rock, uh, just some basic rock, and a lot of Anubias of different sizes and some, well, I think that was the only plant that I used. I do actually plan on removing these danios, but they have worked out really great. The pea puffers leave them alone, the danios leave the pea puffers alone. The pea puffers sure do seem to like the new rescape. I'm not completely done with this tank. It still does need another cleaning like the plants. I do need to kind of peroxide those guys a little bit more and clean it up the, the sand a little bit more. For the most part, I really like how it turned out. The pea puffers sure do enjoy it. I. I see them swimming all around. Okay, so this is the first tank that I've completed for my nano wall. I've got a lot more coming up with different biotopes and a whole lot of different fish. So remember to check out our video that we have stocking ideas for the five and a half. So if you like this video, share, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.